god, that was great. Hey YouTube, it's me, Stephanie, aka Zill308, and welcome to the video on my channel. And you guys know what time it is? I haven't done a rant in a while, and I'm excited to rant again today. Woo. Today's rant is all about Instagram comments about my body. <laughs> this is a fake smile, this is a fake happiness. Comments like this do not make me happy, no? Lately, there's been a lot of comments about my body on Instagram. A lot of women are leaving comments saying that they don't like how big I went, or that I even got a surgery, or why did I do that to myself, and now I'm not body positivity, and oh my god, this opening up a can of worms right now, woo! So, today I'm going to rant and talk about why these comments are problematic, not helpful, not useful, and just plain suck. But first, I also want to talk a little bit about why I even got my plastic surgery because I've actually never really discussed it. And the reason is, is I was waiting for this big video about my breast augmentation to be live. And honestly, guys, it's taking a lot longer than I thought because there's so much footage and I haven't, I really want to present it to you in a really professional way that is full of information for those who really want to get a breast augmentation. So I thought in the meantime, I would just go ahead and tell you why I got the surgery. And hopefully that will help you guys understand a little bit more about my choice. The reason why I got my breast augmentation is not because I had low self-esteem. The reason why I wanted to get my breast augmentation is... Oh, hello. Yes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Look at that. Look at the hips. My hips. So my hip size is a 42 and my waist is a 25, 26, depending on what I'm eating that day. I love this proportion about my body. It is completely natural. I do not do any waist training for my waist. And I do squats, but not anything really significant. I had always had huge thighs, a huge butt, and a huge hip since day one. It's just what I was born with. And I love that. It took me a long time for me to love that about myself. I didn't have any role models really growing up, except for in comic books. I noticed that in comic books, women were very hourglass shaped, they had big thighs, they had a big butt, and I, I really liked that. I thought that was really cool. Seeing those proportions really helped me get over the fact that my body wasn't weird at all. But Chung Lee is a great example of this. She made thighs cool. As I got older, I realized that I love my curves so, so much, I wanted more. They're size 37 inches around, which is, again, still smaller than my 42 inch hips. So I'm pretty proportionate now, actually. The whole reason I started this video is because I really wanted to reply to a couple of really nasty comments that I've gotten on my Instagram lately. I will not be using their usernames because I feel call out to culture, as it's called, can be very damaging. I don't feel that anyone deserves to lose their job over these comments. I feel that these people are definitely misguided. I do not believe that any of these people are evil. Let's get into these horrible comments that people say about me and my boobs, shall we? Surely, surely this will be fun for me. So, you used to promote body love and now you're an anime dream girl, question mark? Said one person. Another person replied, I was thinking the same thing too, sad face. Yes guys, I did change my bio because I just thought it was really cute. There's absolutely no other reason besides that. I am totally still 100% all about body positivity and love. Boob jobs change brain waves apparently. Mm. I can't deny that that stung a little bit because I did start to realize how much every word that I say online means something to someone and I would hate for someone to think that I don't support body positivity anymore. Listen, Instagram bios are very short. You're only allowed to put like, what, 140 characters or something in it and then you run out of space. I mean, I think it's kind of ridiculous now for me to list all of the things that I'm into. I. Personally, I've also never listed that I'm a huge advocate for autism on my Instagram. Does that mean that I'm not? Of course not, that's just silly. It's obvious that I'm a huge advocate for autism. I'm a huge advocate for body positivity. I just can't put them all in my bio and I just like the Frage anime dream girl, guys. I just liked it, oh my god. Here's a lovely comment, shall we read it together? Oh, great. Listen, honey, I know you're vicariously living through Stephanie here, so let me spell it out for you. She used to talk about her struggles with her body and hoped someday hum humanity would be okay with big hips and small boobs. Now, she is the same as those she once destroyed. 
What does that mean? Now she has a trainer and no swimsuits will fit her top half. First of all, yes, I definitely did used to talk about my struggles a lot more. My body issues have not gone away since I got my breasts done. If you guys are looking for self-confidence boost in plastic surgery, I mean, I'm sure it happens to some people, but it didn't happen to me. I just felt like it was the same me. I almost felt like I was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to have these boobs. Now back to my other issues, shall we? You know, I wish my, my tummy was a little bit flatter. I wish I didn't have cellulite in the back of my thighs. I don't talk about them as much because lately I've been kind of feeling myself. And the reason is because I did start a new workout class. I've been doing it three times a week and I absolutely love it. If you guys look back on my early IRL vlogs, you can plainly see that I used to go to a gym. Wow, there you go, before my breast augmentations. And there I am, working out. Hmm. The most common criticism I get on my photos are, I liked you better before your boob job. You were so pretty before. Why did you go so big? It makes me very sad that there's people out there who feel the need to tell someone what their personal beauty standards are and how you fit into this mold of pretty that I like and now you're out of this mold and I don't know what to do with you. You're not pretty, be pretty. This is what I like right here, be in this. And it's like, that's horrible because no one is here to please you. I am here to please myself, to make my life the best life ever. Everybody is fantastic whether you're natural or plastic. I want to spread positivity and love throughout the internet world. This is something I'm very passionate about. Comments like I read are a step in the wrong direction. I also wanna talk about the reason why I've been posting a lot more kind of sexy imagery on my Instagram that I didn't really do before is because I, I feel sexy. I feel it. And I think that's okay. This is just another part of me. It doesn't mean that it is my only entity. I love Japan still. I love anime. I love dressing cute. I love looking cute. I love makeup looks, hair, all those things. I still love the, all that stuff. And I also love this. I don't have to choose one look. And I don't want you guys to choose one look for the rest of your life either. How boring would that be? Basically, if you feel the need to lash out in anger when you see a beautiful girl online or in real life, then you're kind of saying that the only quality women have are their beauty, which is absolutely not true. Beauty is not a competition. Everyone is beautiful. Just because I exist in this world and you find me to be beautiful does not mean that I take away from your beauty. I support sex workers, I support women who are very religious and conservative. I think that there's many different types of ways to live your life as a woman and I think when we start shaming other women for the way that they live their lives, it becomes very problematic because there just really isn't a wrong way or right way to be female. There just isn't. Ah. Now I feel a lot better about the situation. Thanks so much for letting me rant with you guys today. If you liked what I had to say, go ahead and click subscribe, like, and of course comment below. I want to hear from you what is your favorite part about yourself. It can be your body, it can be your personality, it can be your hair color, your eyes. Let me know in the comments below something that you love about yourself. Much loves and virtual hugs to you guys. I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!